Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'd like to begin just by saying a very, very big thank you to everybody um, for their kind comments and for subscribing and liking um, the things, the uh, demonstration I gave uh, as part of Rachel and Bella Crafts Bee Summer Inspired. Um, she kindly invited me to be part of the collaboration and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, I'm, it was the first one I'd ever participated in and as you know um, I've done a few flip throughs on YouTube but I've never been um, one for filming as I've been making anything um, so it was so kind that all of you took the time to pop over have a look at and see what I'd made which was the U for Umbrella and um, as you know I made um, the hidden little notebook and you all left me some fantastic comments for which I'm extremely grateful and you've inspired me to uh, carry on and um, continue with uh, my you know trying to increase my numbers and grow my YouTube channel a bit. Um, so yes uh, I'm on Rachel's design team and part of this um, be summer inspired as well as um, doing something for the A to Z um, I also wanted to um, make a journal because her kit uh, uh, kits are so lovely um, and I love summer themes I'm uh, one for the beach and sea, sea th themes I like sailing and things like that so I love the water so um, this kit was just down my you know it's just a ticket for me just down my alley so I hope you like what I've made and this is it um now it's a, a soft cover journal and it measures 24 centimeters in height and 16 centimeters in width it's got two signatures inside and uh, as you can see that it's quite a Although it's not a, a massive gape, gape, gator mouth, it is quite a, a chunky uh, little journal. Um, and inside, as I said, there's two signatures and each of those signatures hold 52 pages. So you've got 104 sides front to back. Um, the cover's been bound with material and machined and there are some vintage French laces on the front as well as some uh, cotton lace and this is the the back of the the journal and I've put a little label on there handmade in Wales because as you know I live in the beautiful country of Wales and um, on the front it's got a few flowers dotted here and there and I also made this little charm I don't know whether you can see it there but it's um uh, got some handmade paper some little um, cutouts and a starfish and a bulb clip and then I made the um, little charms by cutting out some sentiments that are part of the kit and then um, dropping on some uh, glossy accents on the top so it makes them hard um, and sort of sets them and makes them last a bit longer and they're a bit stronger so that's the front of the journal. Inside, I'll just check that you're in shot, that you can see all the journal because I don't want to miss anything. hope that's okay. Um, so inside you've got another one of my charms there, which has got um, uh, a little couple on there. And it's got a pocket on the front. And inside there are some journaling cards. I have stamped the back of the cards as well um, some of the, some of them have been machine stitched around the edges because I do prefer to do that where where I can and um, I've machine stitched around the edge of the uh, envelope there as well and there's a little uh, sentiment on there sunshine with some uh, handmade let some uh, machine laid lace this is the first uh, page and I have put just to um, make some sort of splashes really because the waves are all um, up in the background I've put some faux pearls 
just to act like little droplets of water and I've edged the page with some lace. You've got some little postcards there and as you can see I've got um, anchors, um, you know there, there's all sorts stamped on the back of them, some of them are the same. Um, that's got a little shell, I won't show, show you them all because uh, they all are, are different. Little suitcase there, which is another one of the charms that I made. Um, you've got some lace flowers, some more uh, hand stamped uh, words, and then I fussy cut some little flowers that I did with um, embossed uh, flowers there. You've got a pocket there edged with lace. Um, some of the tags have also been um, 3D'd a little bit with some uh, stenciling and I've used structure paste just to uh, uh, give it a 3D effect and that one's finished with a shell on the back and that's also been stitched. And then you've got the butterflies, they're all little 3D hand cut butterflies. Another uh, cluster there and that one's also got um, some of the texture paste on as well with some shells and some birds on that one and there's a side pocket there some of the pockets I haven't put anything in because it gives you space to add your, add your own things in um, but if the if the the per person who buys this uh, journal would like me to put something in the pockets that I haven't got things in just let me know whether you prefer that or whether you want me to leave it empty for you, for you to add your own. Um, there's a, a, a altered paper clip there, hidden paper clip and I've made some bunting out of uh, Grandma's Rose kit on there and it's got a different thing on the back. This was um, some leftovers out of a die cut that I used to make this pocket it's one of Tim Holtz's uh, pockets and each of the little strips that came out of those holes. What I've done is I've made, let me just take that little tag out there. I'll go back to that page. I've made a little fence out of the remnants and fussy cut some flowers and some leaves and, and done like a little scene on the corner of that page, which I thought was quite nice. Another cluster there. Um, that's got some handmade paper and some sari silk and then I finished it off with a, a little flower and um, a little charm there on a bulb on a bulb clip. The edge of this has also been done with texture paste with a stencil. Another pocket there with some tags. Some of the sentiments I've added myself that aren't part of Rachel's kit um, just to um, Add a little bit extra. The tag's been done with some um, texture paste on that one as well. And mach machined round. Some of ours, these are some daisies. I do like daisies and they are nice and summery on this page and I thought they matched with the, the flowers on this, you know, the colours should I say on, on this side. And then you've got another texture paste one there and it's got a seahorse on the back of that one and a side tuck spot there. Some more paper clips but these ones I've just finished off with a bit of crinkle uh, ribbon there, seam binding and uh, there's another pocket which we'll have a look at and it's been finished with some lace and some gingham ribbon on that one and a flower. And then inside you've got a couple more um, cards and they've been stamped on the back there too. I'll just finish that, pop that on there. This is another one of Rachel's pockets and it's from the um, True Blue kit which I thought was lovely. And it's got sort of fish on there, which is why I thought it would go quite well with this watery, beachy uh, themed kit. 
and I've left that blank so that you can actually write on this one and um, you know I've not glued it I've not glued it together and it's just tucked away in that little tuck spot there which um, has got a lovely scene I love that uh, window there um, and there's a, a flower cluster another daisy and some snippets of material under there and some handmade paper another couple of tags there same again been stamped and I've used a stamp around the border of that as a um, reef knot fisherman's knot and there's some corals poking out from the back of that card there and then here I fussy cut some flowers and put them on her headdress has covered the ones underneath but I thought it was quite um, quite a nice uh, touch that was and there's some cards which have got ocean themes I love seahorses reminds me of when I used to scuba dive <laughs> a few years back um, another sentiment there relaxation and a, a butterfly that I finished off with some faux pearls Another pocket there with some um, handmade paper behind there. And then this is mulberry paper, which I've torn. And I've just fussy cut, fussy cut some shells and added another machine pocket, machine sewn pocket, um, tag, sorry, machine sewn tag. This is the centre page and all of my uh, centre pages I finish off with um, you know, when I bind them, I use wax thread and I always like to put a little handmade uh, metal charm on there. And then I found a little yacht, which I thought was quite nice. And then I've made some bunting out of um, the grandma's um, flowers kit, Rachel and, Rachel and Bella's kit there. And fussy cut some um, vintage birds and sat them on the top. Another tag, and then this is an altered envelope, and inside it's got a pocket with some more tags. And I didn't put any um, eyelets in these because I wanted it to stay fairly flat. Um, so you've got three tags in there, and uh, they've all been finished off again with some hand stamping. And then you've got a pocket in there, and that's got another envelope in. And I've used book page as um, um, a little cluster on there with a little shell. And then you've got some more, got some little cards and things in that pocket there too. Some more words that I've stamped uh, myself. Um, as extras to Rachel and Bella's uh, kit because um, my kids used to love burgers when they went to the beach um, and bunting, sun, waves, kites and ice as well. Then I've made a, a book page cluster, a book page ruffle and I've put some lace on it and then finished it off with some um, blue checkered gingham. This was a sample that I sent for um, oh, a few years back um, and I thought it suited this journal because it was yachts and birds. Oh, excuse me. Yachts and birds. So um, I put it as a, a secret uh, journal in spot and finished it off with some sari trim. And I did put a little flower on there, but it seems to have come off. So I'll, I'll put another of those little daisies in there. That's obviously uh, fallen off somewhere. Um, and then inside you've got several pages um, and I've just stamped them all with the same beach hut in there. There's, I think there's half a dozen pages or so inside there. Then you've got a waterfall pocket made out of book page, which... Um, one of the other ladies, I'm just trying to think who it was now. Um, oh, she, Stacy's Crafty Jam. Um, 
that was on the 9th of September and I thought that was a great idea. I have done waterfall pockets before but I love the way that she did the picture down the front which was continuous so thank you for that uh, Stacey. Um, some more um, stenciling on the side, some more tags in there and then here I've used some I did some more stenciling with the texture paste and um, I used what I did. I cut out these dies and then the bit that was left with the hole in, with the shape in, I put the, the uh, texture paste through that and used it as a stencil and then put the die cuts on the top. So you've got like, you know, the same the same plant, if you like, but in two different ways. Um, then I made um, some uh, ribbon bunting up there in that corner. And then you've got a vellum pocket with a tag in there too. I love that little girl. She's so cute. And it's got um, one of uh, Rachel's freebies on there that came with the postcards. So uh, I've used that on the back of there. And then there's another one of my charms and it's got some little beads and it's got that little um, couple at the seaside again. And I used that. I did it. I did four to a page. Um, it's in uh, Rachel's um, in this kit, but I made the images smaller so that I could use them as charms. Got some die cuts on that page. And I like this uh, stripy paper of Rachel's because you can actually use that for writing on and you can follow the, the lines as well. Got some ribbon bunting. Um, that's a nice cotton ribbon. And I thought it suited this journal. Then you've got a flip out pocket there with a tag. And it's been machine stitched and it's got a die cut on the back with some book page, a die cut book page. Then I've made a little cluster just with some one of the sentiments and um, some little hand cut, cut out flowers, fussy cut flowers. You've got some faux pearls on the butterfly. And then in the top section here, you've got some of Rachel's e ephemera. And lots of lots of writing space on there. It's got a side pull out as well, another tag. And I used the, the um, one of the shells as a a tag, uh, so you can hold on to the card. Another envelope there, and I'm not sure if I've put anything in this one. No, that one's got to have something in as well. I'll do some more um, ephemera to go in there. I don't like to leave empty envelopes. And this is the next journal, the next signature, should I say? And you've got a flip out. And it's got a belly band on the front with uh, one of the ATC cards and you open it up and it's this has been made with a um, recycled envelope, window envelope and I've made the window there and you can see the bee through the glassine at the front. When you take it out there is a butterfly underneath there as well, that's there permanently. <laughs> And then you've got another pocket there. Oops, a daisy. There we are. And then you've got two more tags in the front. In that little pocket. And I've just left the fringe on the um, material there. You can trim that off if you don't like it. This is handmade... Um, paper there which I've uh, embossed with um, the reef knot design in my embossing folder it's 
some more die cuts, another die cut there, another couple of tags. This one's just got a staple on the front and it's got some of the uh, stenciling paste on as well and another stamp on the back. And then I've got my ice creams, the lovely ice creams um, that we um, watched G Care and that was on the 19th of August. Um, she did a tutorial on how to fold these papers and she actually gave us the free kit um, so that you've got the waffle paper and the strawberry chocolate and uh, vanilla papers there. Um, I thought that was great so um, I had to include it in my uh, journal. And I've just got another little tag in there and there's some more ephemera out of the kit. There's some book page see, oh, about the seaside, a poem about the seaside there by Robert Louis Stevenson. And then you've got some vintage images of the beach there. And then this is one of my um, ruffles that I made with book page. And I put on some of the sentiments that I'd uh, made with um, the glossy accents when I was doing those charms. And then I just fussy cut the butterflies and put some um, glitter on the front to make them give them a bit of sparkle. There's an up tuck spot there. And then you've got some more tags and journaling cards here with another of my charms. There's another ruffle there with the seagull. And two more sentiments there with sandcastles and sunshine. Another page ruffle there with some material, one of the bingo cards. And I've stamped in one of the sentiments um, from my uh, personal kit. In high tide or in low tide, I'll be by your side. And then um, in the summer as well, I always think of kites. And I thought I'd met myself a little kite and I, I used some of the papers out of the kit and um, just used some baker's twine, one of the sentiments and one of those little birds that I cut out, one of the vintage birds. I thought that paper was quite good because it looks as though you know, it's flying up in the, in the sky, up in the blue, blue summer sky there. Um, another um, texture paste stencil there with a couple of die cuts and some um, ribbon trim. And then this was what, what I did for my project, for those of you that haven't seen it. It was how to make this umbrella. And um, um, in my coffee, in my coffee site, if you, if you want, there is an umbrella template and you cut out the pieces using different papers from the kits and you make this umbrella and then add your pages so you've got a hit, hidden notebook space there and uh, thank you again for all your lovely lovely comments and I just finished the page by cutting out one of the lighthouses from the papers and some of the the other bits and bobs the dollar and um, some shells and starfish and it just gave them a bit of bling with some diamante drops. Another page ruffle with some gingham and some lace. Another uh, texture paste corner there. And um, that's one of the papers. And I've just made some extra writing space there with a corner cluster to tuck in that pocket. Because it's quite a deep pocket. And then this is just the centre page and I didn't want to do anything really to that because I thought it was a, it's a beautiful, beautiful image. But I just wanted to fill some of the space and my stamping kit has got little seagulls and it's got a yacht and it's got a few little shells. So I've just dotted those around just to complete the, the scene a little bit. And there's the, um, the centre uh, charms um, on the centre of this signature. 
another page ruffle there with some more sentiments and some um, ruffle uh, trim and some more words. And I've tried to leave as much, you know, I don't want to fill every page um, because you want to write, you know, when you're going on your holidays and um, you want to have plenty of space to write all the exciting things that you've been doing. So uh, I have left quite a bit of uh, room for writing in. Um, some more fussy, well, these aren't fussy cuts, actually. They're from Tim Holtz, some of his flowers. So they're quite substantial. And uh, some Rick Rack. I've put Rick Rack on some of the, the pages. And then you've got another altered paper clip there and another journaling card. And that's been machined round too. And that's the back of the uh, paper clip. Another die cut. And what I did, I tried to match. I used this paper and took the die cut out of this paper. So it sort of matched the both, you know, on either side of the page. And there's another um, uh, vellum pocket with a card there and another lighthouse view on the back. And I've also stenciled on the corner of that one as well, lightly. And then you've got a little cluster there with some leaves and a butterfly. Another pocket. And this has got uh, some more ATC cards in. And these were from a master board. Um, so you've got um, coffee dyed paper on that one and some different papers and some um, numbers. I can't remember whose kit that. It might be Tracy Fox's, one of Tracy Fox's number kits. Small book page. Sorry about that. Some more die cuts. Another pocket. And that's got a little butterfly with some diamante and a little seagull. One of these cart postal. And then on the back, inside, you've got another couple of cards there too. And then this is um, inspired by Angela Kerr and it's one of her over the top pockets and it's actually got a paper clip in it as well. So it holds it, stops it from slipping over the page and it's got a pocket on this side where you can put your tags and things and ephemera. And then over the other side, it's from a window envelope and I've just finished it off with some um, crinkle ribbon and um, another cluster there with one of the images from the kit. So you can have whichever side you like on the front. So that slides over the top there. Oops, a daisy. I'm losing all things out of pocket. There we go. clusters on there and then in the back here at the back of the journal there's another deep pocket and I'm just going to move the journal out the way because it has got its own little folio in here which I've made myself and um, I've used some images from some papers from Rachel's kit so if I start, what I'll do is I'll just stand up one second to make sure that I'm in frame and I'll hold it up. So that's the first page. 
and you've got a sentiment there with a sand dollar and some flowers and a seagull. Then you open up and you've got the lady there and I've just done a cluster with some faux pearls on the top. And you open it up again to the other pocket and it's got a card in. There we go. And you've got some mulberry paper and some watercolour, oh, not watercolour, handmade paper on the front there. And um, it's got some whales on. And then open it up again and you've got another pocket with some tags in there. And then you've got a notebook. So Daisy, With different images on the pages, and you've got another pocket with some cards in, and then this one opens up like that. So you've got a little place to write on there too. So it all folds up, just straightforward. Just keep folding it inwards. And then wind your baker's twine round and then go round the knot a couple of times. There we go. And that's the back. So that just sits in this back pocket here on the journal. So it just gives you an added extra little something to take with you without having to take the whole journal. Um, so I do hope you like it. And um, it's it's in my coffee shop now um, for sale. And um, thank you for watching. And I look forward to my next project. And I will be putting some more of my journals um, that I've been making over the past few months into my uh, coffee shop if you're anybody's interested in taking a peek and I will do some more flip throughs on YouTube as well so look after yourself everybody and thank you again for all your lovely comments and I do hope you will join me on my next video thank you bye